My studio is in uh, Poughkeepsie, upstate New York, and it's in an old firehouse. Uh, I have the ground floor. Um, this is where I made Benam uh, to scale before it went to the foundry to be converted into bronze. The firehouse studio I've had for five years, and I've just recently gotten another studio next door, which um, I'm using now to make mostly my cork and larger sculptures. And I'm using the firehouse studio just to make my works on paper and maybe a few smaller sculptures. Bena means unnamed. It is a monument to victims of war. I began to notice that all the soldiers had names, but then all the collateral damage is unnamed. The black plastic is supposed to refer to a body bag, not a burqa. That's not my intention because, you know, you don't pray with your <laughs> with a burqa on necessarily. Binam was made using plastic over an armature that she created. It was a hollow framed construction and the hands and tail of Binam, whom was sculpted in clay. We had to make a flexible rubber mold over both the clay forms and the plastic form, the body. And into that hollow form, we were able to cast wax positives. What you see in wax is exactly what you get in bronze. So that's the time to make any refinements or corrections. So once Huma was satisfied with the quality of the wax, we then did the ceramic shell process, where we make a ceramic mold over the positive wax. The ceramic mold goes into an oven, and the wax gets literally melted out. And it's into this empty ceramic mold that we pour the molten bronze. When the bronze cools, we literally chip away the ceramic mold to reveal the bronze casting. The body of the piece will be painted using outdoor architectural grade paints, and the hands and tails will be patinated here under Huma's direction, and then it's ready to go to the museum. Seeing all my work together at the ICA in this beautiful space, uh, on one level, I, I don't feel like it's my work. I know it's mine, and it's nice to see the older pieces, uh, which I haven't seen for a long time. It's the first time I've had so much of my work um, in one space together and uh, work that goes back uh, a long time now. To see so much of it in the same space feels, uh, I'm still getting used to that. <laughs>